When Lyft launched its fleet of pedal-assist electric city bikes, it was supposed to make getting around the city easier for riders. Senor. Reaching a top speed of 18 miles per hour, users practically zoomed to their destination. But now the e-bikes are getting pulled off the streets in wake of what Lyft is calling a small number of reports from riders who experienced stronger than expected braking force on the front wheel. The malfunction has led the company to pull fleets of its pedal assist bikes in not only New York, but Washington, D.C. and San Francisco. The injuries suffered by riders range from scrapes and bruises to one man who told the New York Daily News that he broke his hip when the front brake locked into place, throwing him off the bike. The news is a huge setback for the ride-sharing company, which was expected to add 4,000 electric bikes to its city bike fleet this summer in the Big Apple. So this is the most popular bike we have. E-bikes have exploded in popularity ever since the city lifted its ban on them. According to Will Alvarado, a manager at Toga Bike Shop on the Upper West Side, one of the largest bike shops in the city, Many of the injuries he sees are a result of consumers not being well versed with safety precautions. Most people who ride these e-bikes are not familiar carrying all this 55, 60 pound bike underneath them and controlling them. So they're completely different than riding a 20 pound bike. It remains unclear when the pedal assist bikes will return to the city bike fleet. In the meantime, the company announced it will be replacing the e-bikes with classic pedal bikes while they determine the root cause of the brake malfunction. On the west side, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.